I want to welcome everyone to the first ever ICS Engineering and Physical Sciences Alumni event. I hope that everyone is enjoying the view. Uh, we raised a special for you. Uh, we're really grateful to all of you for coming. We think these events are extremely important. Uh, my name is Hal Stern and I'm the Dean of Information and Computer Sciences. We know that everyone's here primarily to get to know each other and network and we don't want to keep you away from that. But we do want to tell you a little bit about your alma mater. And so you'll hear from each of the deans in turn. Um, and then we have a couple of giveaways. The food and drinks will continue until 9.30. So please stick around and enjoy. But I'm going to start with a few remarks about UCI and information computer sciences, and then we'll turn it over to the, to the other deans. So we have here the, the deans from the three schools, as well as faculty and staff. Uh, not to mention Peter the Anteater. <laughs> and I also want to mention uh, Barney Ellis Perry is here from the UCI Alumni Association. There he is. Hi, Barney. <laughs> Barney is very important because several people have noted to me that they love this, but we don't do this often enough. And that's true, but Barney and the Alumni Association do things like this more often. So there is an LA alumni chapter. And if you are not yet connected with them, I strongly encourage you to do so. You can go to the Alumni Association website and find more information about that. Uh, a brief word about my school, the School of Information and Computer Sciences. I want to mention three different things that are going on. In terms of students, uh, we remain incredibly popular. Uh, the population of students at ICS has grown from 800 undergraduates to 2,800 undergraduates in just the last six years. Uh, uh, apparently, people tell me there are a lot of jobs for people who can program. <laughs> so it's cold. Good. It's cold these days. So it's a good place to come, and we have uh, really great students, extremely talented students. Uh, the SAT and, G and GPA for the students, in fact, for all three schools, are off the charts. Uh, my colleague in Washington has started saying, you know, this is a school that we couldn't get into anymore. Fortunately, they let us go work here. Um, so, you, so you should be very proud of, of your university um, and the things that are going on there. Uh, ICS is doing a couple of things that I want to draw attention to. Uh, we have started some self-supporting professional master's programs. So we're trying to do more to address people who are out in the community. And we have one that started this year. We have one of our students here, actually, and I'm having tonight, um, in a, a master's in human-computer interaction and design. And we have two starting next year, a master's in computer science and a master's in cyber-physical and embedded systems. And so again, all of these things very easy. If you go to our website um, or pick up an annual report or email me or one of the other meetings, you can get information about all of these things. So this is a real way for us to give back um, and train students, get, allow people to retrain in the lab. And the last thing I want to mention is some of the exciting research areas that are going on. And again, these are things that really bring the schools together. And some very hot topics and places where we can make a difference. So one is cybersecurity. I'm sure everyone's familiar with the nearly weekly releases about cybersecurity breaches. And so UCI, to try and help address this is starting a cybersecurity policy and research institute that includes professors from all of our schools as well as the law school and the social sciences and beyond. And so we're really excited. We have about 75 companies engaged with us. And so again, if this is something that's interesting to you, please, please let me know. Uh, in ICS, we're also extremely interested in on health and technology and, and big data, and these are the things that we're working on. So, again, a very short introduction to ICS. Please, please contact me if you would like some more information. I'd like next to invite Ken Janda, Dean of the School of Physical Sciences.
yourself a little bit about that. Thank you. All right. So uh, I just can't say how excited I am to see so many happy, interactive alumni here tonight. And I want to introduce my two associate deans who are here. David Ben Branken, the associate dean of undergraduate studies. And Roger McWilliams. He, he's back there. And so what we're trying to be much more proactive in helping our school alums network and to find internship possibilities for current undergraduates and graduate students. So if you would like to come talk to our students, either as a mentor or just to describe your career, please meet either Dave Ed Franken or Roger McWilliams. Uh, we're just eager to have alumni reconnected with the school. So uh, the School of Physical Sciences has four departments. I'm going to give one little vignette about each one. So physics and astronomy was in the news this summer because two of our faculty members did an analysis of a Hungarian experiment. And if the experiment is right, there's a fifth force of nature. And if that's right, that means another Nobel Prize for the School of Physical Sciences. <laughs> so every night I say a little prayer for the Hungarian experiment. <laughs> for those of you who've read the newspapers, and several people mentioned it to me already, one of our great graduate students and under, uh, Maya Lee Thai, working with Professor Rich Benner, has invented a battery that can charge and discharge a hundred thousand times without degrading. So if they can scale that up, right now it's a nano battery, if they can make it a mega battery, that will change technology dramatically. Uh, our Earth System Science, oh, by the way, that's chemistry. Our Earth System Science Department is largely giving society kind of uh, bad news. And the bad news this summer is that the soils are taking up much less carbon dioxide than in all these models of global warming. So if anything, global warming is going to happen a little faster than most of the predictions you read about. So uh, Earth System Science is a leader in understanding that. And in our mathematics department, what I was going to emphasize is one of our faculty members has designed what I understand to be the latest thing in encryption, sending data back and forth, and so she's also part of the cybersecurity initiative. So if you'd like to learn more about the School of Physical Sciences, when you get an email from me, please don't delete it. Read our newsletter. And once again, thank you all. I want to bring uh, Peter DeBarber up here. So Peter won the uh, raffle for the Sky Slide tickets. <laughs> Right after uh, Greg Washington's event, in a few minutes, the deans are going to go down to the sky slide. I hope many of you will join us. <laughs> oh, picture. <laughs> All right, so uh, without further ado, I'll bring uh, Greg Washington up to give his remarks. <laughs> I do not like podiums. So I'm gonna come over here. Yeah. So, first of all, is this a great venue or what? You don't have events like this, we don't have uh, programs like this without the hard work of really, really dedicated people. So, Kristen, come on up. Please, could Kristen Woo! hurry Kristen, a round of applause. Where's Taylor? Taylor Garrett, can she leave? Deb, come on up, Taylor. This is the dynamic duel. They've put together a lot of this program, and I want to make sure we give them their props. Look, I will tell you all, no matter what discipline you're from, whether that's engineering, information and computer sciences, or physical sciences, 
the value of your degree is worth more now than at any time in its history. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 That's the thing. Our campus is, you know, it's not just engineering and physical sciences and ICS uh, whose enrollments are exploding and engineering enrollments. We've gone from 2,100 to close to 3,700 students now. Uh, everything is, is growing, but the campus is becoming tremendously prestigious. It's the, it is ranked ninth. The university is ranked ninth of all publics in the country. Every year the Sierra Club says, who has the coolest campus? Meaning, you know, uh, what campus is most green? You know, we got 11,000 solar panels on our campus. 80% uh, of all of the waste, all of the trash that we produce is actually recycled. And, and that's a lot of pizza boxes. <laughs> I know somebody remembers that. Uh, the, 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 the point is, we have the greenest campus in the country, uh, two years running. Uh, we're the number one campus for beach lovers. Yeah. And that's great when you know that uh, UC Santa Barbara and UC San Diego and where they sit. And so it just goes on and on and on and on and on. There's so many accolades and so many great things. I, we don't have enough time to sit here and tell you all of them, right? What we're doing now in terms of bringing you all together is we're offering you a venue, an opportunity to interact, not just with us so that we can get to know you, but to interact with each other. Even in this group, as I begin to walk around and talk to many of you, we found there's just tremendous things happening from you all. And so part of our prestige is directly correlated to the great things that you all are doing since you all are graduating. We want to be a part of that. We want to continue to hear about the great things you're doing. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us and engage us. Uh, we are actively growing our alumni association. And on that note, I want to bring up Come on up here, my friend. So we, we can have a new now vice chancellor for alumni relations. Or alumni? alumni people. Now. Yes. <laughs> so, Barney, say if you work. Thank you so much. What can be better than three deans working together to bring everyone together? Okay. Big Washington said, you are alumni of the number ninth ranked public school in America. Hello, number nine in America. Take that, some of our East Coast schools. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we want you to be super proud in your workplace. We want you to talk about being anteaters. No more of this, oh, I didn't know my colleague was an anteater. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. We're doing a, a great lunch next uh, next month at Google. We're getting all the anteaters at Google together for lunch. We're going to be up in the Bay. We're going to get all the anteaters in the Bay Area together. We're just in New York. we got the anteaters in New York together. We are going to rock the anteaters across America, and we need you to help us do this. And we need it because 50% of our students are first in their family to go to university. Woo! They need you for internships. They need you for jobs. And if they come out, they are looking to all of you people to help them get jobs, get internships. We've got to help the current generation of students we have. We need you to mentor. We need you to get involved. We need you to advocate. So, talk it up at work, get involved in the LA chapter, they do lots of fun events all over LA, think about that, get involved in the amazing engineering alumni association, we've got Kevin and Zatar in the house tonight, best one of folks, talk to these happy people, they got a pub crawl coming up for Halloween, do not miss out on that, and come on back to campus on February 25th is homecoming, come out and give these deans a hard time because they're going to be doing fun stuff for you on campus. Back to you, sir. I know the ribbing that you all get 
about our mascot. <laughs> no. But, you know, people say the ant eater. When I first came there, I said, an ant eater? What's up, what's up with an ant eater? I said, the ant eater is a ferocious animal. I said, yeah, if you're an ant. <laughs> but I've grown, I've grown to respect this little guy here. Little guy, he's so big. The ant eater, Peter is powerful. And all of you now are part of Eater Nation. It's a great thing. We want you all to tweet this out. Our hashtag is UCI SkySpace LA. So continue to tweet. That's right, get on your phones. We got, we got my three amigos here. And since we gave us drinks, we call ourselves a rat pack. <laughs> Hey, so we're getting ready, so we're now ready, we're now getting ready to go down the slide, but we need some volunteers to come with us. So now, Greg, before the slide, do you know why ant eaters are so healthy? Why? Right. Full of antibodies. Greg, <laughs> <laughs> Kate, and I only try to the slide, but we have some tickets for some helpers or people who want to go with us. Uh, so what we're going to do is, we have two for each school, and I want to give one ticket for each school to the person whose birthday is today or closest to today. So Halloween! 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 Halloween!